Making sense of quantity. A dive into quantitative adjective noun collocations. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our advanced vocabulary series. Today, we're going to tackle a fascinating part of English language learning, quantitative adjective noun collocations. This might sound a bit technical, but trust me, once you've understood these, you'll be one step closer to sounding like a native English speaker. Let's start with the basics. Quantitative adjective noun collocations are essentially phrases where an adjective, describing quantity, is followed by a noun. They are combinations of words that native speakers frequently use together. For example, massive improvement, whole pizza, or a grain of sand. These phrases are so natural to native speakers that they often use them without even realizing it. Understanding and using quantitative adjective noun collocations can really boost your English language skills. These phrases will help you express quantity accurately in different contexts. Instead of always saying, a lot of people, you could say, a crowd of people. It adds specificity, and also makes your English sound much more natural. Let's look at some common examples. A pair of shoes. Here, pair, is the quantitative adjective referring to, two, of the noun, shoes. A slice of bread, slice, indicates a portion or a piece of the noun, bread. A bundle of joy, an idiomatic expression referring to a baby. Remember, collocations can vary greatly, and the best way to understand them is through context and practice. Now, let's get some practice. Try to complete these sentences with suitable quantitative adjectives. 1. A. Blank. Of cards. Hint. This is a complete set of something. 2. A. Blank. Of people. Hint. A very large number. 3. A. Blank. Of milk. Hint. You'd pour this on your cereal. The answers will be provided in the next video. So, that wraps up our dive into quantitative adjective noun collocations. They might seem daunting at first, but with a bit of practice, these phrases will become second nature to you. Stay curious and keep exploring the depths of the English language. Remember, practice makes perfect. Until next time, happy learning!